Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and today we're going to take a look at Boolean operators. Now we took a look at Booleans um, which are either oops, I gotta be on here, true or false. These are the two statements that are returned to us. Now Boolean operators will compare the left side to the right side or give you the opposite. So we got uh, n operator, which is A and D operator, where both sides need to be true to get a uh, true return to us, or if one side is false, then we'll always get a false, or if both sides are false, we'll always get a false. So let's take a look at that, because that might confuse you a little bit if I'm just explaining it like that. So let's go ahead and do uh, true and true is true, because true and true, both sides need to be uh, true to get a true return to us, so true and true is true. Now if we do true and false, we're going to get false because true and false, they're not both true, so they're going to be false. We can do false and true, same thing. This side is false, so we're going to get a false return to us. Or we can do false and false is false. So that's how that works. Now we can use comparison operators with the Boolean operator. So let's do uh, three is great. Oops, three is greater than two, and uh, four is greater than two. Hit return. We get true. All right. So what we're doing was comparing this side and this side. If they're both true, we get true. How about if we do three is greater than two and four is Oops. Less than two, we're going to get false because this statement's true, or this expression's true, and this one's false. So we get false. Now, if we do both, um, like we do three, three is equal equal mm -hmm. to two, and four is equal equal to two, we're going to get false because both these statements are false. All right. So that's the end. Uh, Boolean operator. So what you need to focus on is both sides need to be true for it to return true. If either side has a false or both sides have a false of the end operator, you're going to get a false. Very simple. All right. Now let's take a look at um, or. So we got uh, or like that. So true or true is going to return true. Either one of these, either left. Or the right needs to be true to get a true. So if we do true or true, we get true. Simple. How about true or false? We get true. So like in the previous one with end, if we go through this and go true and false, we get false. But if we go or true, this side's true or this side is true, we're going to get true. Same if I do false or true. We're going to get true, because true is on one or the other side, left or right, and we get true. How about if we do false or false? We get false. Simple as that. All right, so we can do um, three is less than, or yeah, five, or three is equal to equal to 2, we get true, because this one is correct, this one is incorrect, but we said or, so if one side is correct, it's going to return true. Alright, so how about if we do 3 is not equal to 3, or 3 is greater than 1, hit return, and we get true. Very simple. Alright, um... Let's take a look at another one here. Uh, let's see. Let's do two falses. So let's do three is equal equal to two, or four is not equal to four. And we get false because both these are false, so it returns false. All right. Our other one we can look at is the not statement. And it's kind of like playing, 
like opposite day when you were a kid. Everything you say is opposite. So if I say not true, it's going to return false. If I say not false, it's going to return true. So if I do not three, oops, three greater than two, it's going to return false because this statement is actually true. So it evaluates it, says it's true, and then it returns false to us. Where if I do not three greater than two, we get true. All right. So let's review this real quick. We went through that, you know, pretty quickly. So when do we get falses? Let's start with the end. We'll get a false anytime we don't have this. True and true. We'll get anything, any other um, combination here would return false. So if we do false and true, it's false. True and false is false and false and false is false. All right, so the only time we get a true statement with end is if both sides are true. All right, even with the ca uh, comparison operators, if they both evaluate the true, then we get a true. All right, how about with the or statement? Now, we're gonna get um, true anytime either side is true. So true or true, we get true. True or false, we get true. False or true, we get true. And false or false, Oops. false is false. All right. So with the or statement, if either side is true, we get true. All right. And how about the not statement? Well, not is opposite. So if we have not true, it's going to be false. All right. So if the statement's not true, doesn't retru return true, then it's false. Anytime it's false and you say not false, then it returns true true all right if you have any questions about boolean operators leave a comment on youtube or on our website learnpythontutorial.com don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next tutorial